Hey guys, welcome to this month's edition of the Coach's Corner. My name is Jay DeMeo, and today what we are going to do is we are going to go over one of Dr. Yesis's specialized exercises, and that is the knee drive. In the first edition of the Coach's Corner, we went over the paw back, uh, and the knee drive is basically the opposite end of the running motion, where we are looking at bringing the foot from behind the body and driving the knee forward. Now, why is this exercise important? Uh, first and foremost, if you have ever heard Doc speak or if you've ever heard Cal speak and talk about the action of the hip flexors when it comes to running, what they both talk about is that the hip flexors are only active when your knee is behind the body. So this is really the only way to train it. Now if you've looked at any of the old Russian texts, you've probably seen that different sort of drawing of the person on the slant board with their foot underneath and behind them and the kettlebell on their foot. It's similar to that but different in the sense of how we're loading it and where the action is actually taking place. When we're looking at the equipment that we're gonna utilize for this specialized exercise, go ahead and jump back and look at the paw back. I don't wanna waste time and run through everything with the active cords again, but it's the same thing. So if you haven't seen that video and you don't know how the active cord set is set up or what you'd be looking to purchase in order to be able to perform these the way Doc would prescribe them, jump back, check that video out. But really, it's just the cords, the attachment, the ankle strap, and then we use a bench for support. And obviously, something to attach the bands to. But if you need a refresher or you haven't seen that before and you haven't seen the cords before, I'd recommend jumping back and checking the paw back video out real quick so you can see that. Now, once you understand the equipment that we need and, and we can get moving forward, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over the basic setup on the rack with the bands, um, and then we're going to go over the basic technique, how we actually move while we're doing it. We're going to go over two troubleshooting things that we're going to look at. Um, things that show up when it comes to issues or things that we correct uh, most often and how we correct them. And then we're going to get into the progression that we utilize with the exercise. So first, let's go over the setup. Okay, so the setup is pretty easy. What we're going to do is we are going to take the tie that comes in the active cord set with the band and we are going to set that right at our knee height. Okay, we want it to be right even with our knee because we want to make sure that the tension and the resistance is in line with the way that we are trying to provide force in the opposite direction. So it's real simple. Just walk over to the rack, set the tie even with your knee. Make sure it stays right there for the duration of the exercise. Um, that's one thing that every now and then you're going to have to do is just walk back, move it up and down for the kids. They might have to back up a little bit to take the tension out, to take the slack out a little bit so that you can move it, but just to make sure that everything's moving in the right direction. Okay, now that we've got it all set up on the back and we have the equipment set, now we can go over the actual way that we perform this exercise. What you're going to want to do, we use the bench as our support, so we pull that out so that we can make sure that we're out far enough that when we're at the stretch point for our hip flexor, or the furthest point back in the exercise, that there's still some tension on the band. You don't want the band to go limp in the back and be wobbling all over the place. You always want to have some tension. So we set ourselves with our foot up and try to get our shin parallel to the ground. We keep our hips squared and we want to reach straight back, keep our posture up, and from there I'm punching my knee straight forward, pulling my heel to my knee and keeping that shin moving in a straight line the whole time. We want to reach back as far as we can, punch forward, reach back, and punch forward. Now, what we want to make sure is this is not up, okay? We are not lifting the knee. We are driving the knee forward. Set, drive the knee forward. That's the basic breakdown of how we perform this, right? Posture high, use the bench for support, reach that foot straight back while keeping your hips square, and then from there, we're just going to punch our knee straight forward keeping our shin parallel to the ground. Now we're going to go over a couple of things that we typically see with athletes and how we correct them. 